Hello, Facebook friends. It is Carla, your online doctor, with today's Live in 5. Today is Monday, June 10th. It is 5 p.m. I know my hair looks purple or blue. It's the combination, I think, of the shirt and the lighting. Trust me, it is not that color, but I am seeing it as well. What can I tell you? just looking cool. All right, so we've been talking for the last couple of weeks about cancer and alternative or natural options for treatment. And I also talked about um, up and coming emerging tests that are used for detection, all that kind of good stuff. And I'm gonna be watching a series online called the Anti-Cancer Revolution. It starts on the 17th of June and runs through the 23rd. So um, after that, I'm gonna have tons more information on this topic because the experts are all going to be talking and I am going to be taking notes feverishly. Hello, Lori, thanks for watching. Okay, because this topic is very important to me. Um, getting the word out about cancer, about how to prevent it, how to treat it safer, better, all of that is very important to me. So I am going to be sharing a lot of that with you. Um, but in the meantime, we're gonna change gears a little bit and we're gonna talk about gut health. Okay, I started this in last night in my private Facebook group and we talked about some things and it made me say, you know, I need to share this with, with my Facebook friends as well because there's a lot of good stuff here. Okay, so have you heard the expression, listen to your gut, or what is your gut instinct, or what do you, you know, what is your gut telling you? Variations of that phrase exist in many cultures and in different languages, okay? Historically, we think of the gut as an organ that breaks down food and absorbs nutrients. This view has been challenged over the past handful of years, and it's leading to research into what's called the microbiome and its effect on your overall health, as well as on our organs, especially the brain. Okay, so if you haven't heard of the microbiome up until this point, Part of me wants to say, where have you been? But another part of me just says, okay, here you are now and you're gonna learn because I can tell you maybe a year ago, I'd never heard that word either, okay? So if this is new to you, hold on to your seats because you got a lot to learn this week. Okay, so today we know the gut and the brain are actually very closely linked, due in large part to our microbiome. So what is a microbiome. The microbiome by definition is a collective genome or genetic information of all the microorganisms, including bacteria, fungus, viruses, yeast, etc., that live in your body. Okay, that sounds scary, but it is true. Yes, we are oh have over a hundred trillion microorganisms in our body. Most of them are in our gut, mostly in the colon, but they also live on your skin, in your nose, in your mouth, and they're actually in places we once thought were kind of sterile areas, including your blood and maybe even in your lungs. Okay, but they live there in a, most of the time, in a symbiotic type of relationship where they don't harm you, you don't harm them, all is good. Unfortunately, in today's day and age, with what we eat and all the chemicals that we put on our body, our microbiome is whacked, okay? It is totally shifted out of balance and it is making us sick. Now, the microbiome has actually been called the last undiscovered human organ, highlighting its incredible importance. Scary thought, microbiome cells actually outnumber human cells by 10 to one. And if you look at the genetic information contained in that microbiome, 99% of the genetic information in your body comes from the microbes in your body, only 1% from your DNA, okay? So that is pretty wild, but you can see how if that is the truth, that affecting your microbiome can really affect your health in many ways, good and bad. So what does it matter what we are made of? Okay, well, let's talk about chemicals in agriculture and in our household. What effect does that all have on our microbiome or the microbiome of the soil 
where our plants are grown. Okay, so the most frequently used herbicide in the world is called glyphosate. Okay, it is the main ingredient in Roundup. Okay, again, I'm sure most of you watching have heard about Roundup and how horrible it is for us and how we have been literally poisoned over the years. Okay, so one of the patents from this chemical from 2010 states that it is an antimicrobial agent, basically a broad spectrum antibiotic with negative effects on the growth of bacteria and other organisms. Since 1974, over 1 1.6 billion kilograms of glyphosate have been used on the field in the United States on our crops, and about 8.6 billion kilograms internationally. Okay, so we're talking a lot of this product. Okay, so glyphosate basically works in a way that it kills bacteria and pests that may interfere with crops. Now the problem came about and got worse in 1996 when genetically modified organisms or plants, our GMO foods, were protected from the effects of glyphosate. So the agriculture decided let's pour lots of this glyphosate on our plants because the plants survive and all the bacteria don't. The problem with that is it's killing the bacteria in our soil. The glyphosate is actually getting into our food and then it's getting into our bodies and disrupting, disturbing, destroying our microbiome, making us sick. Okay, so this is totally a disastrous situation. Now, I have probably scared the heck out of all of you watching. I hope not, because we're going to talk more about it this week, and we're going to talk about ways that you can heal your microbiome, okay? Make it healthy, make it healthy again, and reverse whatever damage may have been done to, our, to you, to, you know, to our guts, together as a team. We can all work together and do this, okay? But there are things you're gonna have to do. May not be easy, but they will work. All right, so we're gonna continue this talk tomorrow. I hope you guys come back and watch some more. And again, no, my hair is not blue or purple. It is the same color as it has always been. So hope you guys are having an awesome day. I hope to see you back tomorrow for more information on the microbiome. Stay tuned for another Live in Five.